Oh my word. Um, a couple hours after the game, I feel extremely numb, to say the least. Um, my thoughts on the game remain a mess <laughs> and clouded. I laughed last week when we did the unthinkable and I was live to do the exact same thing um, this time round against Collingwood. What I have to say about this, so many things could have gone our way this game, so many things could have gone our way for the entire season and more specifically the last month. Um, but I think we just have to look at it from a perspective this game um, and not think about the outside outside noise too much. This is what happens when you don't play a four quarter performance. We've said a week in week out and I did say it would come back to bite us on the ass and it most definitely did. We decided to mess around and play a close game with the side that are the masters of it. Collingwood and they've got some very experienced heads at the helm. Scott Pendlebury, um, his last quarter was excellent and we needed a leadership figure somewhat akin to that. And unfortunately we didn't have that figure. I am very concerned, or not concerned, but with regards to this game I hope we don't fall into the same trap next season. Obviously there is a lot of growth and learning that comes out of this, but I can't help but think why did we go away from the gameplay that we did in the third quarter? Why did we revert to old habits in the fourth? I do feel like us taking the lead by that big of a margin sort of invited us to go back in our shelves, shelves and think that we needed to hold them off for 30 minutes. Don't try reinforce that lead. Try hold on to it. And that, I think, is what cost us in the end. Inadvertently, we actually were forcibly placing ourselves on the back foot rather than remaining on the front foot. And look, some things obviously automatically sent us there. Sam Walsh going out prior to the game. George Hewitt could have potentially played, did not. Um, and that put us at a disadvantage. You go back even further and obviously Matty Kennedy out as well um, just hampered our injuries even more or hampered our finals chances, should I say. There are some things, though, as well in the game that were just incredibly... just unbelievable. I have to say, that's the only word I can think of right now. The Ash Johnson goal in what I believe was the start of the last quarter, that goal that was created by a mysterious block that never existed where Jacob Wiedering was looking at the ball and all Johnson did was lightly fall to the ground and the umpire decided to reward a free kick. That is the problem. That cost us the win. But I'm not saying that that was responsible for it. I'm saying a variety of things. Charlie Kerno deciding to snap in the second quarter and not making the distance from about 30 out. You look at that and you say, well, if he scored, we could have won. Durden going into the forward line and kicking it straight to Howe. If he didn't do that and was possibly a little bit more thoughtful with the footy, could have won. Six behinds in the last quarter and no goals. One of those becomes a goal and we win. I mean, yeah, I... I don't really have anything else to say. I think um, Paddy Cripps was just absolutely phenomenal putting that midfield on his back. That third quarter charge was something that was very much like our early season form. That's where the form came from. Those huge quarter-by-quarter -quarter bursts of scoring. Um, however, they were very few and far between in the back half of the season. And we needed more of those. We needed small forwards such as Motlop. In that third quarter, he was absolutely amazing. Kicked a couple goals from roving packs, but we haven't seen enough of that from the small forwards in the last six weeks. Um, and then you look at some other players. They, they were all excellent. Shara in the third quarter, but in the last quarter, they all went missing. I do think the effort was there in the second half. It started off awfully, 
and that could have cost us in the end as well. But I also can't take away from the effort that we put in to get back into the game, take the lead, and then to try hold on. I don't think the effort could be discounted. It was there for the second half. It was just the thought and the reasoning behind it that was non-existent. And I think that comes with experience. And I think that that is something we're going to learn as a result of all this. I think that is the biggest thing you can bring out of it. We're going to do a full match recap or season recap, should I say, um, for the season soon. And I will also try to do a documentary style thing. Obviously, you look at the devastation of the circumstances, whatever that means. Um, missed out by 0.6%. We needed one point to make it in. We were the first team in the modern era to be in the top eight all season except the final round. And obviously that comes with pain, sorrow and devastation. It is only a football club, may I preface, because um, some people it dictates their week. So don't be that person. Um, but look, if you're feeling down in the dumps, Share your thoughts in the comments, we'll have a conversation. Um, we're all in this together. I think the best thing we can extract from this is we're going to be coming back next season a fitter, a bigger, and a better Carlton Football Club. Hopefully. A lot of things didn't go our way this year, so, you know, um, it could have been better, could have been worse. You look back on games such as the Brisbane game, where we conceded the final three goals in probably as many minutes. And that could have been the percentage we needed. You also look at the Hawthorne games and the Port games. We choked the leads. The percentage would have been awfully handy at this time of year. But, obviously, plenty of growing to do. Young team. I'm, ultimately, I'm, I'm shattered, but at the same time, this is an improvement. 12 and 10, I'm taking that. That's a success in my eyes. Share your thoughts in the comments. I'm sad, but aren't we all? You know, is what it is. Enjoy what you can, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.